It's day seven of Christmas, and I've got three career dolls to open, plus the Little People Advent Calendar, coming up after this. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. Now this is what Christmas is all about. Toys and being all cozy and staying up late and opening toys and this is Christmas. The advent calendar is coming up at the end of the video. We're gonna find more little people loving this. It really is my favorite advent calendar that I've ever opened and I've opened up a lot of advent calendars. All right, I got three new career Barbies and these are the only ones that we got in Canada so far. They've shown up at Toys R Us and I think that's pretty much the only place. Oh, you can get them on Amazon. Actually, the boxing girl just showed up on Amazon, but she's $15. That's how much they start showing up as and then they get increasingly higher like to 25 and stuff. I think that is the price of most of the fashionistas. Pretty much everything we have on the Amazon Canada website. Sometimes the prices are so high that I order from Amazon in the US. These were on sale for $8 at Toys R Us, which is awesome for Canada, because normally at Toys R Us they cost $14.99, which is very expensive, it's, just, it's the Amazon price. At Walmart they would be $10, so that's a much better deal, so I usually kind of wait for them to come to Walmart. Sometimes some things only come to Toys R Us, and sometimes some things only come to Walmart, but they went on sale at Toys R Us for $8. So I picked up everything that was new, that I didn't have out of the Fashionistas and the careers but these were the only careers that they have right now I guess it's just the boxing girl who's missing because everybody else is here she is kind of special oh that would have been nice to open them all in one review maybe I shouldn't open these maybe I should wait until I find the boxing girl all right we're canceling this oh no 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 I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it okay oh okay and here is this guy and he is a dentist oh he's a dentist when a girl plays with Barbie that's what it says on the backs of these she imagines everything she can become. I need my glasses on to get a better look at this. Oh, and then the rest of this is in French and other languages because I have the international card. But I noticed that on this one, it actually says pet vet. So, oh yeah, so this one is an American card. So when a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can be. And then you have a little bio there on what it's like to be a pet vet. And then these other ones are Canadian cards. So we do not have any bio on what it's like to be a tennis pro. Look at her little eyes. She kind of looks like Steffi. Steffi is now available in Canada at Toys R Us. So I'm gonna open these and I'm just gonna start. And I didn't bring scissors with me, but I think it's okay because we have these indentation packages. So they're gonna be super easy to open. I'm really disappointed that he is not on the standard Ken body. Not to be a jerk or anything, but I don't really like the slim Ken bodies. And I don't really like the broad Ken bodies either. I like the classic style. This is a one-piecer. That's also disappointing. That's all one piece. I wonder if he gets the same lab coat as Barbie usually has. We've got three different size Barbies though for this opening, so that makes this review really, really cool. I guess the boxer would have been a standard size Barbie, like the tennis player. So we get lots of accessories for these. This is quite a great deal for $8, but I am kind of disappointed with some of this stuff. So I'm not sure how my lighting is gonna be in this cozy little environment, but let's see. Let's look at this Ken first. So he is the slim Ken, the smaller one. And we get this face mold. It took me a really long time to find the right head. I actually bought one head at one Toys R Us. I bought the best one that they had out of, I don't know, 10 of them. And all of the eyes were really bad. One of these eyes are a bit darker than the other one, but at least they're aligned properly. I already have this guy in this exact combination. I believe it's exactly the same skin tone and he's slim. I wish they would make this head in a standard size body. I like when they do that. I'm just looking over there where I have all of the standard size ones and this head has not yet been used on a standard body. Okay, so he comes with a couple accessories and they are this yellow toothbrush with the thumb holder. That's really cute. 
and he comes with I love that these come with so many accessories and they come with more and they're the same price as fashionistas and then he comes with this thing of toothpaste hopefully you can see that in red and I like how he's wearing blue so we've got all the primary colors handled there and I'm gonna take off his coat oh and show you his really short sleeves so he has the same size feet as Ken, so these are nice shoes that could definitely be used again. They're very fancy, and I can barely see them in the light, so I wonder if you can. Maybe if I put it really close. Oh man, I'm sorry about my lighting tonight. It looks, I look all nice and cozy in my bed here though. Maybe you can see it better than I think you can. I'm pretty sure I've seen those shoes before. They're super dressy for the dentist, and oh. This is really interesting. I've never had a bodysuit that velcroed up the front. That's my first. So it is attached to the pants. Super disappointing. I mean, it might have been cheaper just to put a pair of elastic in this pants. I don't know. He's on the slim body. That is how you take the shirt off. The collar is made pretty well. It's an unhemmed edge of the collar. The sleeves do have a finished hem though. He's just a little doctor. Can see if these coats are the same. Okay, so the next is the vet. Her two accessories are the stethoscope. They made it in black this time and it doesn't have the cute little pink heart. That's so funny because the last one I opened in the Ken vet pack he actually had a pink one with a heart on the end. They gave this little girl, which she's really petite, they gave her the black one, and that's a really nice stethoscope. I will be using that, I think, a lot. And she also comes with a kitty. Amazing value here. And it's a cute little gray kitty. And that's its bum. Cute, cute, and it's kind of hollow on the bottom but it does still feel like a nice rubbery plastic. Here is this little thing. Okay, I'm definitely going to rebody her. Just like the slim and broad Kens, I don't, well, I don't like any of the Barbie bodies at all, to tell you the truth. I like the WWE bodies, so I always rebody on a WWE body. And she has a unique face. I mean, we know her, we know this girl's face before from, I guess she was a fashionista. Doesn't she have like something to do with a red dog dress or something like that. I think I might have her, but I've, I haven't rebodied her, and that would make a really nice, like she's kind of got this Brooke Shields kind of 80s, you know, darker eyebrows. I like, really like her hair too. It's kind of long and it's like choppy cut. But yeah, I, th I think she's very pretty and unique looking. And she's got this puppy dress on. So she's got the same kind of overcoat, but it isn't like Ken's. All of the girl doctor coats kind of have a three quarter sleeve. And when I take this off, which is hard because she's got a bent elbow, you can see this nice little dress. Oh, and it doesn't have any uh, Velcro openings. There's not too much stretch to this dress, but I guess the way that it's designed, it's gonna come off nicely. So I, I like it. It's more cottony, yet it doesn't have any Velcro on. That's a really nice shaped dress. I don't remember seeing this, but I actually don't own a lot of petite Barbies or haven't opened a lot of them. Then she comes with these little purple flats shoes. Maybe I should have my glasses on because they kind of look like clogs. Yeah, they're kind of clogs with backs on them. Very cute kitty dress. And then last we have Barbie the Tennis Pro. <laughs> and I've opened one of these tennis rackets before because I remember how, oh I have a fashion pack, a Ken fashion pack, how the ball sticks on the little peg on the tennis racket. That's kind of adorable. I like how it matches her outfit. I like the red racket too. That can be very useful. And then she's got pink flat little sneakers on and she's got this one little dress. And then they are doing this thing that they've been doing recently with Chelsea's mostly and they put the colored elastic around her head like a headband and then she's got the matching elastic to hold up her high ponytail and the hair is nice wow and it came out of the box nice I'm probably going to get rid of the headband one and the hair is 
perfect. It's so 50s. So she's got tiny eyes. And I noticed that they all had different sized eyes, of course, but these ones were the most symmetrical and they looked really cool and it made her look really unique with the smaller eyes. And I think this is the old Teresa mold. Is that who it is? Because it does remind me of that square jaw on her. Anyway, she's super unique and super cool. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take that off and make her look super 50s, give her a WWE body. She's gonna be a favorite of mine. Yes, yeah, 60s mod, that hairdo is perfect. And then she's got on this little tennis dress and it's made of that more nylon-y, costume -y material and it's very translucent and Velcro's in the back, but it's cute. It's, you know, it's printed on. Are they supposed to be separates? I guess they're supposed to be kind of a skirt and a top. I don't know, she's really cute and I like the colors and she's special. So I would say that the winner out of all of these is this girl because her dress is actually versatile. And I mean, she comes with a pet kitty. Yeah, I guess you get the best buck for your money with her and you get this extra coat. And then he's probably my least favorite because of that one piece and I don't like his body and uh, maybe I'll rebody all of my slims and all of my broads. I mean, I'd like to keep my whole collection of fashionistas as they are. And I'm right now, because of that, I only have the original shaped ones on display. Let me know which one is your favorite out of the three. And I hope I can find the boxer soon. Maybe I'll have to review these all over again when I get the boxer. Anyway, stay tuned to the end of this video. After this, we're going to check out what we get on day six of the Little People Fisher Price Advent Calendar. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you're having a great Christmas. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. Settling in all cozy. Where's all my little friends? Oh, here they are. We have to be getting an accessory this time because last time we got a kitty and the time before that we got a snowman and then we got skis and this girl and then we got snowboard and this guy was the very first day. That was a good recap. Exactly backwards. I have a good memory. So one and two and then three and four and then we we'll go to five. <laughs> we're still over here, six, and then tomorrow, seven is right here. So we're gonna open this one right on the kitty that we got. It's gonna be an accessory. Which accessory is it gonna be though? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> today is the seventh. We already did the sixth. <laughs> So we did that yesterday. The kitty was under the kitty. Do you think this little elf boy is going to be under here? I don't think so. Okay. I knew this had to happen. I don't know. Is this a bad one? It's kind of, it's a translucent toy. So it's, we get an ice ball guys. Look at that. That's really cool. Okay. Like, it's really weird to get, like, here's a, here's an ice ball. You're getting an ice ball for a present, but it's, it's a really cool ice ball. Look at it. Super cool. And the kitty can play with it. And yeah, it's translucent, dudes. So cool. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I don't think I gave you a good enough look at what they looked like in totality with all their accessories on. So let me show you that again. That's her, cute. And I also didn't mention that I had an additional coupon on top of the $8 sale and I got them for about $5.50 each. So that is really awesome. I mean, I can't believe I forgot to mention that because I'm all about the deals. $5 and I think it was 46 cents each plus a tax. But that was an amazing deal for me. So I bought every fashionista. You know what? I probably could have bought more fashionistas than I did. But yeah, it's, it's good that I didn't. I bought all the new ones. I actually bought some of the new ones that I already bought. And I'm going to return the ones that I bought for the full price. Because why wouldn't I? The more money I save, the more toys I can buy. I showed you her without her tennis racket. The whole point was 
to show all of the wonderful stuff you get together. The videos just keep getting longer and longer. Hey, that tennis racket is good for Christmas. Do I need a thumbnail? Do I need a better thumbnail?